this is Jen from Blogs uh, Late to the Theater and Mutter of Dragons, and today I am reviewing a backpack that I purchased a few weeks ago. I got very excited about the Herschel Pop Quiz backpack, and I used it for my per- my uh, trip to New York City. Um, I should say that I had not flown since literally before Katrina, and I don't travel very much, so I was looking for a good carry-on that could carry a lot of crap and that I could take with me everywhere and just have everything that I needed <clears throat> at all times. And, um, yeah, so I left all my stuff that I had actually carried. This is all the stuff that I carried with me around everywhere, except for when I left my clothes at the Airbnb. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, I forgot where I was going with that. Anyway, it's an awesome backpack, so I'm going to unpack it now. It's This is the great unpacking, and you're going to see all the stuff that I carried around with me. So let's begin. Uh, the first outside pocket I really liked for carrying um, chapstick. Uh, chapstick my best friend got me from Etsy. A mirror. Um, my Newark, New Jersey, Liberty, whatever that card was called. The Metro card. This you got to have this if you're going to travel around New York City. I just stayed on Manhattan. I was lazy. I didn't see much of the rest of the city. And, um, woo! Receipt for my ticket. <clears throat> and there's also a Carmex in here. <clears throat> and lots of wonderful change. Because that's just how I roll. I'm a pack rat. And we're doing this one-handed because i got to hold my my camera. In this pocket, I liked this uh, mid pocket because I figured, you know, it's good to have stuff. Here's my Manhattan Transit map that I didn't get until like Sunday, but it's cool. I didn't, I didn't need it that much. They have maps everywhere. Keys, um, wallet, I have a saddleback leather um, little bitty wallet that I take everywhere with me. And um, jerky. I'm a pre-diabetic, so I have to eat constantly. A business card from a lady on the plane. <clears throat> um, MoMA, floor glide, floor glide implant. All this. I did, all, I did that. I did MoMA. And um, celebratory dark chocolate. This came from a bodega in uh, North Manhattan. And this little clip was awesome right here. This for keeping my keys on. Um, Tissues, boarding pass. Tickets to, um, what is that? Natural history? Probably. I did Natural Museum of Natural History and the MoMA. And I wandered around Central Park quite a bit. And here is a ring that I got from Shopsons, which is a place in the East Village that I'd seen a documentary about. And I was so excited to go and eat there. And I ate there on my birthday. And it was awesome. And look at that. Disco Inferno. And there's a bunch of other change and odds and ends and ponytail holder. Pens, gotta have pens, and <clears throat> gum, you can hear a, a small treasure chest of, of uh, <clears throat> change in there rattling around, more business cards, I don't know where I got all these business cards from, but you can see in there the, the cute little candy striper kind of lining that it has. <clears throat> it's very festive. And I like that it has the bright lining so that when you open it, you can actually see what's happening inside. You're not just fumbling around in the dark. Um, this little pocket on the top <clears throat> was great for your sunglasses. Now, these are just some crappy, sun- like cheap sunglasses that I got. Um, you can see one of the little nose things has broken off. And uh, it wasn't from being in here. It was just I'm rough on things. So this little pocket up here is really awesome for carrying your sunglasses and little little odds and ends and stuff. And they, of course, um, want you to know about this little dealie right here that allows you to um, 
put your headphones through it so that you can have your tunes while you walk around. Now here is the big pocket. Here is all the mess, for lack of a better word, that I toted with me everywhere all over the city. Um, <clears throat> first, I got this little bathroom dealie. I probably should have gotten some travel size stuff instead of the huge toothpaste tube. But it's got, you know, my stuff in there, my toothbrush, my uh, soap, and my contact lenses, and various beauty-ish things. Um, here's my makeup bag. <clears throat> Has a very little bit of makeup in here. I, I traveled light. Um, I'm not a lady. I, I don't really pack, like, you know, straight irons and this and that. Glasses case. My glasses broke on the plane coming back, which I thought was very convenient. So I'm we're gluing those back together now. These I'm very excited about. These are my spices that I got from the fancy spice shop in Grand Central Terminal my last day. Look at that. It's New York steak and chicken. Oh yeah. And um, I forgot what I got. What is that? Special red meat. That sounds like me. And this last one is herb roasted chicken. That's covering the bases. I did not move out of my comfort zone. Pajama pants. A hat that I knitted that I actually forgot the coldest day in my room. And um, barely got to wear it all. But it was still nice that I had it in case, you know, it got really cold. These were the free... Um, very kind, the kindness of my uh, my host gave me these slippers. Um, and as you can see, they're a little big for my feet, but that's okay. They're bedroom slippers. It was very kind of him to do that. Umbrella, very small umbrella. You can see there's a black and white thing going on. Here comes Herzog! Herzog! <gasps> Bubs! Bubs! Not listening to me. All right. Um... This is a sweater I never actually wore. And, hey, drawers. Let me just get that out of the way. Um, and these are all the dirty clothes that I put in a plastic bag so that they weren't, you know, getting smelliness on me. And you can see there's a nice big empty space in there. Now, back here is more stuff. Here is a little... Thing I got from my dad from uh, somewhere near the Statue of Liberty. I didn't go to the statue. I just kind of went to Battery Park and walked around and looked at stuff. The financial district and whatnot. And this... Oh, I'm excited about this. Get with it, bag. This bag is not cooperating. Do they ever really... Lord of mercy. I got two of these pretty magnets. I love to get magnets whenever I go somewhere and I put them on my fridge and I bring them back for my family and friends and stuff. And where did the other bag of treasures go? Oh, here it is. Um, this. I visited the cloisters also. Got these beautiful cards. I, I didn't know that the unicorn tapestries were at the cloisters until my friend told me. And then I was like, oh my god, are you kidding? I have to go now. So look at that. That's the actual this is the unicorn hunt. It's a um it's a it's it's huge when you go into the actual room. It's just this giant like 12 foot tapestry and it's 15 feet and all that and this one in the middle is so iconic and famous, and I, I couldn't believe I was actually standing there with it. I figured it was in, like, you know, Paris or Cambridge or somewhere, somewhere more historic. Well, not that New York's not historic, but you know what I mean. And this, <clears throat> my friend gave me for my birthday last year or the year before, I forget, and I thought it was so fitting to use this as my travel journal, so... You know, as you can see, obviously, it's it's got the map from The Hobbit on it. So that was my very dear friend Tanya gave me that. And I wrote down my, my adventures every day. It's, I don't know if it's Moleskine. I, I don't know if 
that's a thing that matters. This was amazing. She got me this for my birthday this year. And um, I had the brilliant idea to actually just do like, like just take pictures of it so that I had the pic. I mean, this is probably old hat. Everyone in the world probably already knows this, but me just take pictures of what I needed to see so that I could look at it on my phone and not look quite like such a tourist, you know, waving my book around like, Oh my God, where, where is everything? Hello locals. I'm obviously from out of town. I'm sure New Yorkers are beyond used to dealing with us by now. And this is my folder that had all my travel stuff in it. Let me, and there's some personal stuff in here. I won't show you that, but it's just this old busted folder. As you can see, I'm kind of low-tech. I don't have an iPad or fancy stuff that, you know, I don't have a tablet with all my information on it. I I don't know. I feel less safe somehow with that. <clears throat> You'd think I would feel more safe. But anyway, this was the backpack. It's the Herschel Pop Quiz. I absolutely loved it. Um, as you can see, it's pretty light for how strong and sturdy it was. And you can see that I had a lot of stuff in it. Um, I didn't really, it didn't get wet, so I can't tell you how water resistant it is, but, um, yeah, for a, for a carry-on that's sturdy and that you can just pack full of stuff, almost the bursting, you could see when I had it originally, it was almost like a little ball just hanging out there. Um, you probably, you probably could do, you know, better for... Lots of money, but if you're a student and you, or, you know, somebody who's on a budget like me, then you, and you need a good backpack, this is the thing. This is the way to go. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed my ramble. Gosh, 12 minutes of just me blathering. Um, have a great time. Have a great day. I hope that if you do get the backpack, you will post some pictures of it and let us know about your trip. Have a great day. Bye.